Imagine space not as a vast emptiness, but as a fabric, a smooth, invisible sheet stretching across the universe. Now picture time not as a ticking clock, but as a dimension woven into that same sheet. Together, they form what we call the space-time continuum, a single entity where every where is bound to a win. It's a strange idea at first. We're used to thinking of space and time as separate things. Space is out there, time is something we watch pass. But Einstein shattered that illusion. He showed us that space and time are inseparable. Where you are depends on when you are, and vice versa. The universe doesn't deal in isolated snapshots. It paints in four dimensions. Now let's bend that sheet. Put something massive on it, like a star or a planet. And the fabric curves around it. That curvature is gravity. Earth doesn't orbit the sun because it's being pulled by some mysterious force. It's simply rolling along the curved surface of space-time. Mass tells space-time how to curve and space-time tells objects how to move. This bending has real consequences. Think of GPS satellites. They orbit high above Earth, where gravity is weaker, and time actually ticks faster for them than it does for us on the surface. If GPS didn't account for this time distortion, caused by differences in gravitational curvature, your location on a map could be off by several kilometers. That's relativity, silently correcting your commute. Or consider light. It travels along the curves, too. That's why starlight bends around galaxies, why black holes can trap it completely. Even time under immense gravity slows to a crawl. Near a black hole, a single second for you could mean years for someone far away. That's not science fiction. It's the consequence of a warped continuum. So when you think about walking through space, remember, you're also walking through time. Sit still and you're still moving into the future. That's the beauty of the space-time continuum. It doesn't just house the universe, it is the universe. Everything happens within its folds. Every star, every moment, every breath. Space and time are not separate threads, they're the same tapestry. And every one of us is woven into it.